Hey guys, how's it going? So today I thought I'd go through You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC, the solo bit. Now I'm a massive ACDC fan. I think Angus Young is just the best. And this might be one of my favorite solos of all time, just because it's got so much nice bluesiness, nice bluesy licks, and it just fits perfectly with the rhythm section as well. So the rhythm section for me is what actually makes this solo pop because it's so punchy and it just allows the the solo to kind of ring through. So that's something to keep in mind if you ever fancy in your band, you know, when you're recording and things are sounding a little bit messy, just get the rhythm section to just, you know, short and punchy and allow the lead to kind of fit nicely over the top. So, um, yeah, I'll just go from the very top. So it starts with this bend. So it's on the fifth fret on the G. You can add a little bit of vibrato in there. So yeah, it bends from the fifth to the seventh. So the song's in G, by the way, just uh, to let you know. And then the next bit, I bar down on the third fret on the E string and the B string. So it's third fret E. 3rd fret B, 6th uh, fret B, so that's all picked as a, so we've got, and then what we do is we take that bend and we lift it and, so we don't go up to it, we bend up with the left hand, then with the right hand pick, so it comes down, like that, it's quite a cool bluesy effect, so we've got, Bender. And then uh, third fret. So that bend, by the way, was on the fifth fret G. Sorry. Then we've got third fret G. This next bit's really cool. Um, he basically, again, very bluesy. He uses the fifth fret on the D and the fifth fret on the A. So fifth fret D, fifth fret A, then fifth fret D again. But rather than playing it separate, he lets them both ring out. Which is this really nice effect. So, and then we've, so we've got 5D, 3rd fret D, 5th fret A, and then 5th yeah, fret A, 3rd fret A. 5-3-D, 5-3-A, and then to 1st fret A, and with this part you want to really have a lot of attack, you know, really dig in with your right hand, so 5-3, 5 1st three, fret, and then 3rd fret, so G, 3rd so fret on the E string, so we've got and then so again all of this stuff wants to be played with as much kind of you know I don't know you know style and um, swag I guess could be a name for it just as much kind of bluesiness and just get the vibrato in there you know uh, don't be afraid to, you know, like really give it some vibrato. So that lick is um, so a bar down on the third fret G and third fret B, and we kind of bend up all vibrato, which so, and then we've got fifth fret D, fifth fret A. 5th fret D, then 3rd fret G, and we kind of stop it dead, so that last note, the 3rd fret G, that's a bit out of there, you want to kind of bend slightly, so it's kind of going 3rd to 4th, but it's not quite there, and then what we do is we slide up, so um, seventh fret on G to six and uh, sixth fret B. So seventh fret G, sixth fret B. So we've got seven six. Then we've got nine um, eight. 
ninth fret G, eighth fret B. And then one more into the bend section, which is um, tenth fret on the B. So tenth fret, bend up to twelfth, and then tenth fret on the E. My guitar's a Floyd Row, so when I do um, uh, double stops, it, it doesn't. Angus Young uses a Gibson SG, you know, so he doesn't have this floating bridge. So um, it might set the guitar a little bit out of tune if you've got a Floyd Rose. Try and, uh, you know, um, accommodate for that by pushing up or down with your... On the actual bridge itself, if you have a Floyd Rose. So we've got bend. 10th to 12th on the B. Then 10th fret on the E. And then we come back downs from 10th to 8th so that so that whole bit right and then a very bluesy lick there so we've, so we've got 10th 10th uh, sorry what am I talking about 12th uh, to 13th and then, so 12th to 13th, then 10th to sort of 11, 12th. You can go up to 11 or 12 from the 10th, doesn't really matter. I'd recommend 11, just a slight bend. And then, um, yeah, 8th fret. So we've got 12 to 13, uh, 10 to 11. And then we've got 8 on the B to 9 on the G back to um, eighth on the B. So, all right, so that's that first bit done. Then we go up to the G pentatonic, the nice familiar position of the G pentatonic scale. And we just crack in there with a nice bend on the, what fret is that? That is a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18th fret. Up to the 20, just you know, dig into that again. We've got this bar, so bar down on the um 15th E, 15th B, and then we've got um 18th on the B. So we've got and then what we do is we bend from the uh, seventh again it's like you start the bend with your left hand um 17th to 18th and come down well let's say no 17 to 19 actually so we go from the bending on the 17th but effectively it's playing this note back down and then we've got 15 on G, 17th on on uh, D, and then we've got uh, sort of again another bar on the G and B string on the 17th fret to the 15th fret. So we've got so I mean very bluesy, very. Angus Young is, I think he's very blues, um, like orientated and influenced a lot by the old blues guys. Another double stop bend. So again, accommodate if you've got a Floyd, if you've just got a normal bridge, don't worry about it, this should be fine. So, so bend from uh, the 17th to 19th. And then with your little finger, you want to be playing the um, 18th fret on the B. So, so you've got bend, bend, and then down. So we go back down to the 15th fret. So that whole bit. And then we've got 
to the next bit. So we've got 17th on the D, then another one of them bar chords, so 17th on the G and B, then 15th barred on the G and B, and then just uh, 17th on the D, and then back to bar on the 15th G and B. And then this next bit, to end it, it's quite an interesting one. It goes sort of to a major -y, um, like G major pentatonic. Just briefly, so it bends from the 18th fret on the E, so 18th to 20, but then goes back down to the 19th fret. So, so you would start on the 17th, Sorry, what am I talking about? Um, start on the 18th and bend up to the 20, but only come down, come down half the way to the 19th fret, which is interesting. Not many people do that very often. They're just, but this time it kind of goes, yeah. Anyway, so, so that one is, so we've got um, uh, 17th to 18 on the E, and then back down again. 15th on the E, 17th on the E again. And then we've got um, 17th on the B, 15th on the E, and then bend from 18th on the B up. So we've got... So bend from the 17th to 18th, back down to 17, 15 on the E, back up to 17 on the E, 17 on the B, 15 on the E, and then bend from 18 to 20 on the B. And then the next bit, so we've got bar on the 15th fret, um, E, B, so 15, 15 on the E and B, and 18 on the B. And then another one of them bends that we start already bent up. So 17th, um, so you're bending on the 17th fret up to the 80, 18 and back down. So, and then down to the 15th. And then that next bit, is a uh, sort of a uh, hammer on from 17 to 19 on the G. So add a little bit of a brighter there if you want. And then, so that bit is a slide from 15 to 17. Whoops. So we've got 50, uh, 17. On the B, 15 on the E, and we do that twice. So one, two, one, two, and then the last bit, it just ends on that. So that's a bend from 17 on E up to 18, and then down to 15. So, so I'll just quickly play the whole thing. go so that's uh, you shook me all night long and um, yeah I hope this has been useful uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything like that um, just remember with this one as well try and keep it as flowy as possible you know loose vibrato blues just think all of that stuff but um, yeah anyway take care guys cheers <laughs>